And see the new jail video just released by the sheriff showing the last moments of an inmate's life. We'll analyze what happened inside the 4th Avenue jail. Good evening. Two days after the death of an inmate allegedly tased by Maricopa County Sheriff's deputies, a DVD of what happened the night that he was arrested has been released. Now, this is the mugshot of Marty Atencio after Phoenix police arrested him a week ago on Thursday. He was taken to the 4th Avenue jail where sheriff's deputies say he became combative. After he was tased, he was left inside what's called a safe cell. But when officers checked on him, he was unconscious. He was taken to the hospital, but on Wednesday, his family took him off life support. I want to warn you, what you're about to see could be disturbing to some viewers. Bram Resnick is here with what the tape shows. Bram. Yeah, Mark, at 2.30 this afternoon, the sheriff's office gave us eight hours of video from 26 jail cameras. The video shows us what happened to 44-year-old Marty Atencio during the roughly two hours he was in MCSO custody on an assault charge. The sheriff's office says it believes it has nothing to hide. Now, I watched some, but certainly not all of the video. Paying attention to video the sheriff's office believed was significant. Attorney Joel Robbins, who has handled several wrongful death lawsuits, watched the video with me and shared his interpretation of the images. We started in the holding area at the jail. Now again, some of this video is very disturbing. It's 1.11 a.m. This is the first interaction we see, and these are Phoenix PD, right? Yes. What are they doing right now? They're putting him, they're putting him in the seat. He's obviously uh, in, a, in a state where he is moving around in the cell. They told him to sit down and then they push him back in the cell and then they cuff him right there to the to the bench. He's up in the cell, he's walking around. If he's if he's refusing requests to sit down, then they'll, they'll cuff him to the uh, to the to the bench that he's sitting on. One officer appears to be more than sufficient to be able to do that with him in this state. One officer, and that's going to be a significant point as we see the number of officers who get involved in just a few minutes. Yeah. There, a confrontation is about to occur. We don't know exactly why. The first thing that you notice is that they took off the cuffs. They've taken off the cough, cuffs and he appears to be talking, but you don't see any aggressive moves. You see him put his back or get, get near the wall, fold his arms, and at that point, uh, they start to grab him. But there's more than enough force, if necessary, to deal with anything that, 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 that Marty would have done. It looks to me when they back away, that's when the tasing occurs. With that many people, there's no explaining why they're going to need that kind of force. He is being brought into the cell now. It is 2.41 a.m. The story is, is that he has threatened suicide, so he's on suicide watch, so they'll remove his clothes. But what you'll see is that he doesn't move at all. They take his clothes, his pants off, his legs don't move. They take his shirt off, his torso doesn't move. He doesn't appear to be moving at all from the time that he's taken into the cell uh, through the time that the, the they begin uh, administering CPR 10 minutes from now. What questions or question does this video that we've seen raise for you? Uh, why this man had to die. He didn't seem to do anything meriting the kind of force that was used against him. Uh, he may have been loud, he may not have sat down when, when he was asked to sit down, but nothing in this video has shown me any danger to the officers that justified deadly force. Now, Marty Atencio was taken to St. Joseph's Hospital, where he later died. Sheriff Joe Arpaio says he won't talk about that video until the investigation is complete. Meantime, the attorney for the Atencio family, Michael Manning, says his clients have instructed him not to talk about the video yet. In a statement to 12 News, Manning said, They are deeply grieving the death of their Marty and do not want their burden and hurt to further interfere with the joys, blessing, and good cheer that other Valley families are looking forward to on this eve of the Christmas weekend. Manning says they will have a comment next week. Now a couple of notes on that video. There was no audio so we don't know what Marty Atencio is saying and we do not have toxicology reports yet. We are continuing our review of the video for 12 News at 10 and you'll see more on what appear to be several taser hits. Bram Resnick, 12 News. Bram, thanks. The judge overseeing a lawsuit that alleges racial profiling in Sheriff Joe Arpaio's immigration patrols ruled late today that every Latino...